a happy holidays to everybody. And I hope that all the Christmas shopping, holiday shopping is going well. I know it can be stressful for all of us. Uh, I started mine a little bit earlier on this year. I'm pretty proud about that. Um, one thing that I will be asking Santa Claus for is a pair of the Jim Palmer uh, Yellowstone inspired pajamas. Um, great for watching Yellowstone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go over to Jim's Twitter page, uh, check it out. And I'm hoping that Santa is going to uh, bring me some for, uh, for Christmas this year. Um, one thing that um, I know Brandon Hyde and everybody on his coaching staff were, were really happy that the baseball gods brought him in this past year. And it was a big reason for those 83 wins was a terrific bullpen. It had been a, a long time since the Orioles had gotten a, an effort from their, their group like they did this, this past year. And you can point to countless number of players and the, the great years that they had from Felix Bautista to Cino Perez to Brian Baker and the way he finished off the year. Um, but I, I want to give a little love for, for Dylan Tate. Um, another year for Tate where he gives you over 60 appearances in a season, which was really big for this team because of how much they leaned on the bullpen. And later on in the season, you got a little bit more length from your starting pitchers. But for most of that year, you were, you're really leaning on that, that group of of relief pitchers to, to do its job. And they were able to, to constantly go out there and deliver the quality and the quantity that the Orioles needed. Tay was a big part of that. He's given the Orioles 60 plus appearances in each of the last two years. There's no other Orioles reliever that's been able to do it like Dylan Tate has. Uh, his consistency was a lot better because his command was uh, a lot better. He worked on that in the previous off season and he was able to spot up all his pitches he was able to make his slider a lot better of a pitch than it had been before. And then it allowed him to use his changeup more to right-handed hitters. And so uh, hitters came up sometimes guessing, what is Dylan Tate gonna, gonna give me to, to hit? And, and when he went out there, he produced results time and time again and uh, took the ball all season long. So having somebody like Dylan Tate was, was invaluable on what was a very young uh, and very unproven uh, pitching staff and he'll be back with the team this year he's going to be arbitration eligible uh, but I'm looking for Dylan Tate to continue to build off of what he did uh, in 2022 because he learned when he's got three pitches that he can throw he's only in for a short period of time that he's going to be able to get really good hitters out and also as the schedule expands um, I think it's going to going to make it a little bit easier on Dylan as well as the rest of the pitching staff we don't have to be facing the American League East nearly as much uh, next year. So Dylan Tate, for me, uh, a big key to the 2023 season and him building on uh, the best season that he's ever had in the major leagues. Happy holidays again to everybody. Uh, travel safe. Enjoy the time with family and friends. And uh, we look forward to talking to you during the new year.